The oyster population in the Chesapeake Bay be at risk. Numbers show the amount of oysters are in decline. Any Rose Ramos has whether there's anything we can do to turn those numbers around. Mornings bring hope for Robert Brown as he pulls a fresh pile of oysters from the Chesapeake Bay floor. Some he keeps, some get tossed back into the bay. We need to get shells, more on the bottom. Watermen on surrounding boats do the same, sending the smaller oysters into the sea to get bigger and populate. Robert says it's a good sign there are so many to throw back, but not everyone agrees. Our waterways are sick. The Chesapeake Bay hit rock bottom. A state assessment claims oyster numbers are on sharp decline. That between 1999 and 2017, uh, oyster populations declined from 600 million adult oysters to 300 million adult oysters. Experts also say overfishing is happening in more than half of the bay. But for many, like Robert, fishing is their livelihood. And it isn't the problem. We need to get our waters cleaned up so that we can have a thriving industry. The Maryland General Assembly has passed several measures to help the oyster population, one of them permanently protecting five oyster sanctuaries. And in 2008, Anne Arundel County kicked off the Maryland Grow Oysters program, encouraging waterfront property owners to hang cages of baby oysters from their docks. I think we've crossed over a tipping point where the bay is starting to heal itself. But scientists say the numbers aren't high enough, and the state should do more. We have the information in hand that we need to make smart management decisions and provide a brighter future for our oyster populations and our oyster fishery. Until then, Robert is left hoping. Our future lies in the people working together. If that doesn't happen, it's going to be very bad. Annie Rose Ramos reporting for WJZ.